<laughs> Extremely. That's an Essentia. Essentia. Is that what's called? No, I got the Sani. I don't even think this is the Sani. I think it's uh. A Dasani bottle with tap water. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are we recording right now? They can hear this, what I'm saying? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Product Podcast. I am your host as always, Justin. I'm with my boys, Wayne, Jason. We can still hear the music in the background. Hey, can we restart? Yeah, can we restart? Absolutely. Sorry about right. that. So typically we... Uh, That's what's up. That's dope. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hey. 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 Okay, that was good timing if we're going to restart That's it. That's awesome. Yeah. We're restarting. Okay. Hey, Candice. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's about to restart it. All right. Okay, I'm going to go live. I'm going to play the music. And then you guys can hear the music in the headset, right? Yeah, I can give you the thumbs up when I want you to cut it out. Okay, then perfect. I'll stop. perfect. Then I'll start. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Product Podcast, episode four. I am your host as always. I'm Justin with my boys, Jason, Wayne. What's Yo. good, fellas? Yo. Hey, what up, what up? What up, what up, what up, what up? Hey, guys, I'm really excited today to introduce our guest. Uh, as you guys know, Detroit has no shortage of talent. And these ladies definitely have it in full, full, full supply. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Together, they are Michigan's <laughs> only all-women poetry collective. Individually, hey. they are educators, city leaders, uh, poets, uh, artists, uh, et cetera, et cetera, all, all that. that. All that shit. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Wisdom Poets with us today. Hey. Thanks for having us. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for joining us. So, uh, ladies, like I said earlier, we've got a full interview set up for you guys later, but please introduce yourselves individually. Okay, my name is Mariah. Hey, everybody, my name is Mikaela. Hey. And I'm Bayan. Hey. And we got one more. I'm Candace. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Candace is our call in today. Yes. First one ever. History, History in the making. <laughs> Technology on your ass. <laughs> Yay. Hey. So, yeah, like I said, we're really excited to have you ladies on, man. We're It's our first guest, so we really appreciate it. Oh, wow. Yeah. First. First, first guest. guest. Yeah. So, oh, wow. this is history. This is history. Thank Double sounds. history. Thank Breaking the mold, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 yeah, we got to add that in post. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> that drop. Uh, but like we do always, we, we talk about what we did over the weekend, uh, any highs, lows. So uh, let's get into it, ladies, first. What did you guys do? Well, we uh, celebrated on my birthday. Hey! Hey! We all got, you know, a little uh, lit this weekend. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> it was a great time. actually together. I think that's hilarious that, yeah. like, for that's the lit, question, though. it actually works. Yeah. We're all really together. That's awesome. Yeah. How would you turn? Uh, 27. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. I hey. hesitate. Hey. I was like, uh, right, right, right. <laughs> I'm going to have to get used to saying that. Exactly. <laughs> I'd love to be 27 again. I'm 28, oh, bro. Man. I'm 29. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to be 30. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not That's that okay. It's not yeah. that hard. Where'd you guys go? Where did we not go is the question. Oh. <laughs> were, you, were you local in the city um, here? Yeah, yeah we, uh, we stayed downtown, had a room down there, and okay. we just pretty much... Uh, just went wherever the night took us. You know, you just go. had a good time and good vibes. So, vibes. yeah, it was a good ladies' night. Very Fourth nice. of July weekend. Very nice. Yeah, right. Very nice. Very nice. What's your exact birthday? Uh, July 3rd. Ah, okay. 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 Very nice. So, you have a little yeah. fireworks for your birthday every year? Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Anything else, ladies? What would we do? I'm trying to think. I think it's so funny. It was like, a blur. I can, you know, it was everything a blur. Is just happened so fast. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think uh, I definitely was getting ready for this week, honestly. There's a lot mm-hmm. of fun things happening for, for me this week um, with different, like, poetry workshops, mm-hmm. theater workshops, nice. and um, I just, like, booked yes. two voiceover commercials okay. like, oh, through my yeah. agency, yeah. so like, that excellent. was what I, you know, just, like, a little no, the sauce. <laughs> 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 Being humble on the mic, right? Wait, you, got a, you got an agency for your voice? Yeah, what? which is so crazy. That's it was nice. my very first one ever, and so literally to like hear, yo, your voice, like we need to monetize. That. <laughs> you that's know, what's up. I'm like, that's, you what's what's up. Up. that's what I'm saying, Jason. You need to get it with that. Look, I'm gonna hook you up. 
Yeah. Put hey. me in the right, you know, put me in the right direction. <laughs> Hook me up with the right going to be doing the movies. Yes. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Down. Whatever. <laughs> so you do voiceovers? Yeah, yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> As of uh, this week. Nice. So Monday I did my my very first one, um, and it will be like a commercial for the state. And then I just got a call actually today for a national one. Yeah. So oh. that's super exciting. Look, that, look I'm just telling them that this oh, is their first time hearing too. Wow. That's really? right. We yeah. hype each other up. You got you to. Man. You got to be yeah. cheerleaders for your friends. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what's up. Cool, cool, cool. What'd you do this weekend, Josh? <sighs> man, we need to go back a few weekends. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we missed. Yeah. We, we missed a We few. was all together, by yeah. the way, just like y'all. Oh. Just like y'all. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, what, Vice Team Pool Party? Vice there? Team Pool Party, man. Were y'all there? <laughs> bum, bum, let oh. me drop. <laughs> bum. Yeah, we I'm going to need there. you to get a button for that <laughs> yeah, so we can just have that on play. No, I like the way Wayne does it. I'm going to keep it that what uh, but yeah, man, Vice Team Pool Party, uh, Roberts Hotel on the riverfront. Yep, beautiful, Very, man. Hype. Yep. Weather was perfect. Uh, location was perfect. Yep. Music was hype. Cheekies. Cheekies everywhere. Cheekies right? everywhere. Vice, <laughs> Vice Team do their thing, man. Yeah. They they really shout good out at, Vice Team. They really Vice good team. at bringing out beautiful women and you know just creating a vibe for everybody. Having so. a good time. We enjoy those guys, man. We, we, yeah. we enjoy hanging out with those guys. Have Jason. you all been to the pool party before? Yes. This is my oh, first time. Year. That was my first time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but well, what was that first experience like? It was, I almost uh, didn't go because I was like, man, it seems like a lot of money spending and a lot of uh, people, mm-hmm. which I try to avoid at all costs. But, like, <laughs> it, it was lit, though. It was a real yeah. good time. It was cool. We had a nice little setup. We got yeah. a booth, uh, a couple bottles and stuff. So it kind of... Mm. Ease the vibe a little okay. bit. How much attention. money spending goes into it? Because when I think, I mean, maybe I'm super old school, but when I think pool party, it's like, yo, friends come together, <laughs> like, barbecue. bring your own bottle, you know, <laughs> yeah. free for everyone. They We're actually swimming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, we actually did come. It was to actually swim. people in the pool, but yeah, I ain't getting the pool. Surprise! Maybe yeah. it was what three, four, hey, five. Yeah, yeah, booths. They had booths and cabanas, so yeah. they charge for those. Trying to have those Vegas vibes. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, oh, it was a good time. Yeah. They do a good job, man. Shout out Candace. She just had her book launch a few weeks ago and oh. it was a pool party and people actually got oh, in yeah, the pool. They did. Yeah. 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 Talk about it, Candice. Yeah, yeah, that was super fun. <laughs> Talk about it. Oh, it was really good. It was exactly what I wanted it to be because it was more so just a uh, get together for the people that pre-ordered my book and for those that have pretty much already been supporting me throughout my life in different ways and so it was really cool to see so many different generations of people connect. I had family members there. There were like older people and then there was really young people. There was even a couple kids there. So it was really cool. Like everybody just got to cross paths and connect and the vibe was just so beautiful and it was positive and I think everybody loved the bartender which was my, my brother who's like a, a legit really <laughs> hey, good bartender. Shout out to your brother. <laughs> so Skip pours, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was really fun though. It was really fun. Would that happen to be to celebrate your book Waiting on God? Yes, exactly. Very yeah. cool, very cool. I want to learn. Yeah, I want to hear cool. a lot more about that too. Yeah. For sure. For you want to sure. talk about it now? <laughs> <laughs> We're on it right now. Let's, let's get into it. Is this where I get Go to ahead. plug my book? Sure. <laughs> I like it. Plug. Another drop. <laughs> 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 talk about it. But yeah, it comes out September. It was originally supposed to be released in July, but um, I switched distributors because I'm like super perfectionist when it comes to the graphic design and right. the way mm-hmm. things are laid out. So should, yeah. um, we switched companies and the new company is really a lot better, but their timeline is a little bit longer. So September is the new release date and I'm really excited because okay. I think it's going to be a really quality book that yeah. I've put a lot of work into. So it's a collection of poems of, about all different things that I've experience or just witness from the human experience right. and uh i don't know I, i'm really excited to see how, how it impacts people honestly that's a really cool wow. congratulations yeah right yeah. books out here. they're all originally right, written bro. by her so yes. oh, no ghostwriter no 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 jersey no jersey no jason you write poetry i was do i write poetry <laughs> jason do you write no poetry? no 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 <laughs> Not yet, at Not least. Yet. Not yet. Maybe yes. I'll be There's inspired hope. after this There's episode. Hope, okay, Maybe. we got you. Cool, cool. Point me in the right direction. That's, that's all I'm here for. Point me in the right you direction. Know, it all starts with just writing your feelings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, you know, Point your heart out in the pain. I do that hey, when I slide Or even spit in a little rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> that's poetic. I do poems and DMs. Oh, wow. Right. Oh, oh, I never had that. They all do haikus. poems and DMs. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Not me. That's all you. No, for okay. Oh, do dudes be sliding your DMs with poems? Yes. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Wow. Oh Has that happened to you? Yes. 
That's hype. No, no, people don't come in my DMs with poems. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> somebody, somebody <laughs> literally slid in with a haiku, and I think I told y'all about it. I screenshot yeah, it, and I was happened. like, I don't remember, but I like definitely yeah. showed y'all, and That's it was crazy. like, you so cool i want to make you full soon before the next new moon and i was like oh that was kind of nice like where's the rest and he was like oh it was a haiku (laughs) (laughs) haiku is dude's favorite type of poem man it's pretty (laughs) quick quick quick. did you like it though (laughs) it was so funny though because it was actually national haiku day and my in my book is all a book of haikus so i was like hey how did i miss that we got authors in the house today See, if you would have been on it, you would have been like, okay. Okay, that was kind of cute. Did you, did you double tap? Did you double tap? His? Um, No, because I was like, when you say you want to make me uh, full, I don't really know <laughs> what that means. Yeah, that I was be, thinking about yeah, that too early. That's That was good. I was like, I was like, like you're out to dinner. I'm going to figure that out. 50 <laughs> 50 on that one. So, uh, Candace, back to you. Uh, tell me what your what your name means on, on Instagram. It's Can, Candida? Candida? Yes, Candida the Poet. Um, that came from, it's it's kind of a long story. I'm not even going to get into it. I'm actually almost kind of, and this is my first time saying this out loud to, uh, out, you know, to the world, but um, I'm, I'm thinking about transitioning away from that, but um, it really is just a, a name that its origins mean purity and pure, um, but a lot of Americans know it as a fungus or bacteria that's called, it's spelled the same way so people get it confused. <laughs> <laughs> and people have literally brought that up like you know your name means and i'm like listen if you knew what listen, my name meant in listen. spanish then you would not be saying this mm. to me right now so it's just kind of like that's real. <laughs> that's really funny yeah we need diversity yeah, so that's it's, the it's answer to that funny. but that's not why i want to transition out of it i want to transition out of it just because i'm like on this path that i feel like you know god is talking to me mm-hmm. in some ways it has nothing to do with no, what other people yeah, think no but that. um but yeah for now i like the name it's been serving me well <laughs> anything you got in mind for a new name no mm-hmm. i think honestly right now i'm just really loving my real name love yourself love yourself yeah. uh i did see one thing interesting uh do you happen to break dance by chance? Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I did. I did. Yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll forever be breaking it down, but um, hey, be, I was for be. real into it, like, for a many years you like when I was younger <laughs> I don't know. I was into she it. Once, once a big girl, always a big girl. Look. <laughs> That's what's up. You had Adidas track suits and uh, Kangol hats. Oh my God, not oh. the Kangol. No, I was never that person. But I should shout out my crew, Hardcore Detroit, because nice. they're out here doing big things. Shout um, out to them. But yeah, that that was a that's a really dope culture. Like everything. I mean, I owe a lot to Break because it definitely just highlighted my whole life. Like I learned so much. There's so much wisdom and culture there. Yeah. So mm. it's really a beautiful thing. If anybody hasn't been a part of that hip hop, a part of that in hip hop then you definitely should because it's alive and well and it's honestly growing and Detroit is one of the biggest hot spots for the culture of break and b-boying so wow. I would definitely recommend anybody in Detroit to get involved <laughs> and go to the events you can't see him but Wayne's pop locking it right now yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> cool 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 hey Mariah so I saw that you worked on a mural uh, with the hooligans Yes. Shout out to Hooligans. Yeah, so um, I work with the Heidelberg Arts Leadership Academy, which is a um, curriculum that is designed to teach uh, students about the importance of public art um, and art education. And so um, it's it works, obviously, with the Heidelberg Project. So um, I worked with kids um, at an elementary middle school on the east side, and uh, we came up with this concept for a mural. We talked about um, social issues in our community. So they mm-hmm. talked about... Um, robbery, littering, murders, sex trafficking. Like, these are sixth graders. Mm. I was like, oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, it was mostly sixth graders. I was like, oh, my gosh, my mm. heart. Right. <laughs> so, right. And so I was okay. Um, what would an ideal community look like? It would be solving those social justice issues, uh, social issues with social justice. Mm. And so they said it would be safety, it would be parks, it would be uh, freedom, it would be no littering, no trash. And so they drew their sketches, and Tony Hooligan, put their sketches together and kind of took their concept and sketched it out and then they helped Tony yeah they actually helped paint it and then um you know he went back put the finishing touches you know made it you know a little little cute (laughs) and then we revealed and we had like a big culminating event so 
Um, the students all had different parts. We sang A Change Gonna Come by Sam Cooke. Okay. Hey. I did a little poem for them. Some of them nice. actually wrote poems that were on the wall. They performed them. Wow. So it was such a fulfilling experience for me because it just showed me, it affirmed for me that students, kids are able to learn whatever you're willing to take right. the time mm-hmm. to teach. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, That's so true. And so it was just really fulfilling because it was my first time in the classroom as like a lead educator, like as wow. a lead yeah. instructor. So I was like, well, I'm a teacher teacher now. Hey. So, hey. Yes. Yes. Right. When yeah. you say it twice, it's it really true. means <laughs> Everybody was like, I look like such a teacher in that picture. I'm like, thank you. Oh, I made teacher, it. Teacher. So, um, so yeah, yeah, it was great. That's, That's very cool. Mm-hmm. Does that inspire so you to continue to do things like that, work with kids? Oh, absolutely. So I'm going to continue working with the Heidelberg Arts yes. Leadership Academy. Yes. Absolutely. Um, yeah, right. I'm going to awesome. work with them during their next session and just, uh, you know, continue to find ways to work with young people. So um, I was a cheerleading coach for a minute. and. And I'm right. going to try to get into some other stuff. So I love I love working with young people. That's very yeah. cool. My mom's a cheer coach. Yeah, I was going to say, my mom and my sister are going to love you. Man. <laughs> yeah. Are they cheer coaches? They've You're been yeah. involved with, uh, well, my, my mom's been involved with uh, Detroit Public Schools for like yeah. you know, okay. 10, 15 years. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, she's been a cheerleading coach since my sister's been. You know, little girl, a little oh, girl. Wow. Yeah. That's how my mom was yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. She's, 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 right. she's probably gonna listen and be like, "Oh my god!" Yeah. 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 I know Mariah had an um, interesting experience with dealing with art downtown. I think you should share oh, that yes. experience. Please. Yeah, absolutely. So we took the um, the students on a murals field trip because we wanted them to really see murals in the city. Right. So we drove them around all around the city. And so there was a one mural that was in the Eastern Market, and I oh I forgot the title of the mural. Uh, I think it might be the rose that grew from concrete, but don't mm. quote me. Mm-hmm. And so we're outside looking at the mural, and this mural in particular is the one that we use like on their curriculum, like the the cover page, right? Wow. So it was really important. And um, somebody comes out of the building, like the, I don't know what the business was, but they came out, and she was just so mad, like she was just like, "I'm tired of people being on my property, wow. like what come to look at this mural." And she wow. was being really disrespectful. So one of um, the other um, you know, instructors for the project, she um, went over there and kind of handled it, but we kind of shooed the kids away so they right. didn't see what was going on. But right. it was just really hurtful because we were just trying to show them art. We were just trying to show them beauty in their own city. Mm-hmm. And then the fact that this was uh, a picture of a, of a young boy who is you know, growing out of, like, out of despair, out of oppression. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful, right? right? It was um, affirming them. It was Mm -hmm. inspiring them. And then you just came outside, like, I'm tired of people being on my property. Mm -hmm. Shut it down. It was a little reality for gentrification. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, a poem um, I wrote when I performed at their culminating event was inspired by that experience. Mm -hmm. And also a poem that Candace has um, about gentrification, which is great. But um, but it was just, like, another reminder, like, we can try to do great things all the time. There's always going to be so Somebody hated. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Did y'all hear about um, oh, yeah. the incident with the artist uh, Shifi McLean? Yeah, we talked oh, yeah. about that last episode. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. okay, we don't got to do it again. No, no, we'd <laughs> we'd love to know your thoughts about that. No, nah, I'm yeah. just saying, you know, it relates to mm-hmm. it, oh, yeah. honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah. that was crazy. Like, you know? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. But I really got to say, man, all these um, murals around the city really help beautify, give some oh, yeah. characters Absolutely. to the city. Oh, yeah. Definitely. You know, like what would otherwise be a depleted area is mm-hmm. just beautified with yeah. just a splash of paint. So, man, you guys are really doing some work in the city. Yeah. 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 Congrats. Congrats. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, so I want to ask all you ladies individually, but Mariah, since we're on you, uh, mm-hmm. tell me, uh, you said that poetry means uh, allows you to... Ex- Allows you to express yourself. Uh, it's a judgment-free expression. Mm-hmm. Connects with people, mm-hmm. uh, but most importantly, it's an archive of your past feelings. Tell me about mm-hmm. that. Oh, you got it all down. Um, <laughs> we get down said, to the okay, nitty. Okay, research. Oh, like, dang, what else do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Are you next? You next? I don't know what that means. No, yeah. So for me, um, so I have an identical twin. And she hey, is shout out Micah. Shout out Micah. Hey Micah. We're twins. <laughs> Fraternal twins. Yeah. You twins? Yeah, me and Jason are twins. <laughs> y'all been in what? our face this whole time and y'all are y'all you just you know, some people get it in a second, other yeah, people take a, a minute. Did not see it. Still I was definitely <laughs> thinking, I was like, really? Me neither, yeah. but two J names <laughs> in one room. What are the odds? What are the odds? <laughs> sometimes you get on sometimes you'll be like, Justin. Jason, sometimes you do that, but yeah. that's fine. you'd be like, that's not, you. well, I know. <laughs> no, that's I fine. mean, it's a, it's a clear difference, yeah. but still. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, it's included. But we're I fraternal. Just love though, so. being around twins. It you know just makes I mean? me feel special. You're welcome. Well, they're identical. <laughs> like, you guys are identical. Welcome. Yeah, we're identical. Dang. But she she got a fade right now. She got wave. She killing. Yeah. She killing a lot of y'all game. dudes out here with her. Oh, yeah. Oh, she she killing a lot. Wait, wait, show us some. Wave check. Wave check. I got you. I'll show you a little later. But anyway, so about about my poetry as an archive. So. Um, so my twin sister Micah is who actually got me into writing. We were like in middle school, and um, she was just writing her feelings. I'm like, oh, this is dope, this is cool. I want to do it too. And so the first thing I ever wrote, I don't remember what it was, but it was definitely, um, I think it was about some boy. I was like in middle school, and he like hurt my feelings, and so I wrote it down. And I was just talking junk, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And so from that moment on, it just came like a time capsule for me. My writing is like, okay, this is how I felt about this situation in this moment. Mm-hmm. And so now when I write. I want it to uh, always be that, right? Like, if I'm dead and gone, I don't want there to be any ambiguity about how I felt about right, something. Right. Like, this is how I felt. This is what I thought. You know, and then if I change, here's the part where I changed on this day at this time. So it's really important for we me to keep... Yesterday. <laughs> yeah, but she... Yeah, we were kind of doing that. Yes, yeah. not yeah. to cut you off, but mm-hmm. we were kind of just trying to... Peace. We've like, known each other since, like, 2000. We were trying to figure out when we yeah. met each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And how long we've known each yeah. other. Yeah. It was crazy. I feel like we met each other through friends, and then yeah. we didn't really hang out like that. Yeah. And then later on down the line, we start kicking it, like, heavy and stuff like that. But if we wrote poetry... <laughs> you uh, would remember that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, probably That's so, hilarious. you know. My but, friend. Um, it, I have used my poetry as, like, what happened this day? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I wrote this. Yeah. Right, so um, so that's what I mean about using it as an archive. And so with my book that I'm working on, which I'll talk about a little later, um, it's kind of like that archive feeling, you that's know? So. And so I have, like, the dates and the times that I started writing that's pieces, because so. that's really important to right. me. So, yes. yeah. does, does poetry double as a journal? Mm, no, um, I would I would have to say no because a lot of times like I, when I'm when I'm writing I have to really feel like inspired like mm. really deeply so it's like I be feeling stuff all day every day I always got thoughts I always <laughs> a lot got of if if I was to journal I need to journal every single day and get it all out but I, when I write I'm like okay I, I really got write something book, here man. yeah and I want to try to remember what, what I had to say you know or I want other people to feel what I had to say mm-hmm. so That's very yeah. cool very cool. Ben, you said uh, poetry means to you creating human connections. Ooh. <laughs> She's like, is that what I said? <laughs> <laughs> you said it. Yes. <laughs> no, what does poetry mean to you? Um, it's a deep question. Mm. It's always changing, definitely. Mm. Um, I think in the beginning, it was definitely like a way just to like express myself and um, find ways just to explore what I'm thinking, you know. I think I was a lot more introverted before. Um, I still am in some ways, um, but and I think they them two can Listen, attest to that. I'm yeah. waiting to back her up on that. Like, yes, yeah. she has yeah. grown For sure. like so much, yeah. which isn't saying anything about what she was before yes. we met. But I mean. She is like the person, fire, like, oh my gosh, so who like, like came like, in and was fire, like, you know, okay, I just had this little thing. I'm trying to find my voice no, a little. Really and real. now Man it's like, in, like uh, I don't really write like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then mm-hmm. next thing you know, she's got a whole book out. Like, what? Like, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Finesse. Finesse. Like, sure. Which I did bring to show you guys. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course she did. Of course, of course she I did. brought it. Very but, nice. um, yeah, it's definitely been a journey for me. Um, I think also because maybe I didn't really lack the confidence in, like, my it's writing abilities and my performance as well. And, and I think just being having the opportunity to be in a space like around other poets and artists and writers really is what truly helped me just to to understand um, you know how to develop myself as as an artist and, and how to get out there and just being able to like give each other advice and, and constructive criticism but also just supporting each other and affirming mm-hmm. one another um, and so for me it's been like beyond more than just like writing because I'm gonna be real with y'all like I go through phases where I don't write for months mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying um, you know, I might write every day or I might go literally six months without writing. Mm-hmm. Um, it really just depends on, you know, inspiration or what I'm going through. Right. Um, but lately, or not lately, but it's just, yeah, most mostly been about being around, like, other people who can support me in that area as well. And, yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Right. I, def- I definitely relate to that, you know, like, uh, the same way you mentioned poetry, yeah. this podcast is for me. You right. know I mean? I'm well, definitely outlet, an yeah. introvert, yeah. but I'm an outlet. And I'm curious if the city of Detroit 
has inspired you guys like it's inspired me mm -hmm. you know it's so many creative people yeah, we talked about so Chief, many. the Hooli Kids yeah. Absolutely. You, know, you know and it's like dude I had to throw my hat in the ring and do something creative which mm, you know yeah. birthed this podcast so yeah. Yeah. has yes. Detroit inspired you guys I would say for me definitely, definitely. Yeah. yeah do you want to go first Candace? No, you can go ahead. <laughs> she was like, I'm just throwing my two cents in. Yeah, I think Detroit definitely, um, just very recently, um, Detroit Startup yeah. Week, if you guys have heard of that, mm. um, it was my first time ever actually hearing about it um, when it came this year. And I, I didn't go the first two days, and then um, shout out to my cousin. I call her cousin, uh, but her <laughs> real name is Brittany. And, and we worked together very closely with my company, and she was like, you need to be here. This is great networking. Right. And I honestly hate networking mm -hmm. because it feels very much so I grimy. Love it. Forced, yeah. yeah, it kind of. I, I mean, like, I like the results, but I don't like yeah. the feeling of somebody coming up to you and being like, "What do you do?" I'm sorry, <laughs> what's your name? Like, yeah, you know I what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of that. They love it though. I don't like, like straight up, like, what do you do? I don't love it. It just happens. Pitch. Yeah. yeah, it just happens. Right. Uh, yeah. I mean, and some people have the personality for it, and that's, that's me, cool. Yeah. Um, but I, I just, um, I think as poets, like you really get down to the soul of people. Right. Like, who yeah. are you? Not yeah. what do you do? Right. I don't care about that. Right. Um, and so sometimes networking can be like that. But at Detroit Startup Week, people were very vulnerable in terms of saying, like, this is where mm -hmm. I'm dope at my business, right. and this is the stuff that I really don't know. Right. And so people were able to make very genuine connections. And I absolutely had an amazing wow. time with that. Go, so, Check that out. Yeah. yeah, I look like plug. I'm not that was not a sponsored <laughs> no, message. Yeah, like, that was for that real. That's what's up. Man. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. I'll be in there networking like a mother. Listen, you yeah. would love it. If yeah. I loved it, I know you would love it. Okay. So yeah, yeah. They they were awesome. We could probably clean up. Ben? Yeah, I would definitely add to that. Um it's definitely been like such a huge influence on me personally because of my, you know, my role as an educator in the city um, and working, you know, closely with the students. Um, and poetry really has been, like, my main connection with, with students. Um, and so they're actually the ones who really got me to, like, perform for the first time and really write, like, my first poem, actually, if, like, maybe four or five years ago. Um, and just when I saw them, these, like, 14, 15, 16-year-olds really share their most vulnerable, uh -huh. you know, moments with each other, um, and really put themselves out there. I was like, man, like if they can do it, then I can do it too. Mm -hmm. And so they're really the ones who inspired me to start in the first place. Um, and so till now, even like I have a, a poetry club that I do with my high school students when I was at Jalen Rose Leadership Academy. I'm transitioning mm -hmm. to a new school now, but um, you know, it was just an amazing like three year experience That's to have cool. like this youth poetry team and and even just being able to watch them like grow so much right. um, in that space because they didn't really have that previously in the school and um, so it's and been they like, loved her. Those kids <laughs> were like Miss. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's been a really a beautiful experience. What's, what subject do you teach? Sorry. English. English. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Michaela, uh, I saw that you did a TED talk at OU. Michaela. 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 I did. <laughs> <laughs> when you make it a song, people are like, yeah. for some okay. reason, I get it now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, um, yeah I, I did two of them, which is really so strange to say. Is that nerve wracking? It was very, very nerve wracking. Yeah. Um, the first one uh, was TEDx Detroit last year in September, and um, it was I was a performer, so I didn't even know that they had like TEDx performers. Mm -hmm. um, but once again, shout out to my cousin. <laughs> um, she the plug. <laughs> okay, yeah. cousin is the plug. Okay, <laughs> she is the plug. She literally was like, "You need to apply for TEDx. Like, you can do this." Right. And she just gave me the confidence. She, so I really applied because I was like, "Let me just honor the fact that she sent this over." Right. Um, um, so I applied to be a full, you know, TED talker. Um, and I was like, I don't even think I can do this. Like, I would rather just perform. Right. But I sent the whole thing over just in faith. And they got back to me and were like, yo, we're booked in terms of speakers. But, like, we saw your your That's video dope. that you sent over and we loved you as a performer. Like, would you be able to do that? And I was like, low-key, that's all I want right. <laughs> <laughs> right. hey. So I options. went and it was so so amazing and um the second one came about because somebody was there at the first one oh, wow. and they really loved it so wow. that one i didn't have to apply for they came to me and was like we think you can even do more we would love for you 
to do a full talk so at TEDx OU that happened I actually got contacted on my birthday and they were like we we are it's final yeah. we're accepting yeah, you so that. God is so good yeah. And, yeah. and by that time I think it was dope because it makes you think about the process of things you know like I wasn't ready back yeah, in September right, yeah. but like by the time I actually did it I was like yo you can do more than what you think right, you can do right. so I started prepping to make something that was full so by the time that was Easy. actually ready you know <laughs> I, I was I was ready for it right. so I'm, I'm really grateful for both that's opportunities hype. that's, that's awesome. very cool congratulations you thank you I'm, honestly like I hate to stick on you so long but you've got so many accolades no. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's talk about uh, oh, 2019 <laughs> Motown Mike winner trophies hey. okay hey. Which is, hey. trophies yeah. clap 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 did we even which, tell the story which is, yeah, I was about to say you know I gotta tell the story before you go real quick okay that's exactly that's where I saw you guys you know I asked did you want to be on the podcast but I was there because our friend Mike Phelps yeah okay. Okay. Mike Phelps. Right. Right. You were there? Yeah, I was there I saw you remember yeah. you were standing in a yeah. I, I don't remember, remember anything. Hey, I, 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 I go unnoticed sometimes. Don't worry about it. No, <laughs> it's not you. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my ghost Wait, were up. you there for the um, for the finale or for the? Um, you mean the rain? It was at the um, at anniversary the um, yeah. event. Okay. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Dope. Dope. Very cool. Um, yeah. So. Funny story, um, which actually connects back to the TEDx. One of my good friends was visiting from New York um, to support me for the second TEDx. And um, so she had never been to Detroit before. And I was like, yo, your first day here, I got to give you a full, like, Detroit experience. Like, something that can't be anywhere found in New York. So I took her to the Motown Museum. And that night they had the, um, the... it was one of the um, pre- preliminary preliminaries. Rounds. So oh, yeah. they had, um, okay. and it was four the very last rounds. one, the final one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and it was they had them um, every Friday in March. Mm. And yeah. They would only select two to three people per prelims, and right. they would take yeah. ten people to the finals. Wow. So it was, and there crazy. was like twenty to thirty, 30 it was people 30. per round. Is that what Phelps Jeez. was doing? Yeah, that's what he did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. it was thirty oh, wow. people that night because it was the very last round, and right. they were like, "We know everybody's trying to get and in." Times four, that's a lot of people. Some people oh, had auditioned, you know, you know, more times before it. So right. anyway, so I didn't want to perform. I really just wanted to hang out with my girl right. um, and show her Detroit. Uh, but they were like, "Well, if you perform, you can um, get in free." And I was like, "Well, this is just physically right. responsible <laughs> right. at this point." So <laughs> I was yeah, like. <laughs> Oh, right, exactly. So mm-hmm. literally, I was like, well, let me save ten dollars Let me just go for the heck of it. Have a good time. And we, and they... <laughs> They called, um, they said, uh, we didn't really have to do much calculation because <laughs> two people got perfect tens from all the judges. And I was looking at my girls. I was like, girl, these people are bad. Like, ooh. <laughs> and then they say my name, and I literally slide Flat, out of my chair. Just, wow. I literally fall on the floor. Wow. She was there. You guys were there to see it? She was there oh. because wow. she performed, too. Nice. So I went, and I'm just like, oh, my gosh. I hope I hope Bay wins. I hope Bay wins. They called this other name, so she didn't. And then they were like, but, you know, we do have one extra like somebody that really gave it to us so it's a wild card our last person of the night is Bayan Funa and I hey. lost it hey. like that for me was higher than yeah. the height it was just and then, an experience just to do that together it, honestly yeah that we both we were both going there. just to have That's fun because it was time. free to be honest too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know and then my girl Physically is just there she's literally like this is my first day in Michigan this is my first day and she was just it was it was really dope it was, it was like awesome. easy <laughs> Easy. We it was this. awesome. So we literally right. had like, um, they were like, okay, so you need to come back uh, within five days, tour the museum, write a new poem. And mind you, I was still trying to memorize for my TEDx, which was like two days right. later. So I was like and excited. You were traveling. And I was going to yep. Chicago the next day. Like Jealous. there was so much. And I was just like, I was like, what did I just get myself into? So I was excited, but I was also kind of like, now nah, I really got to. Right. Come with it. So, um, but but we were able to pull it off and have a really good time. That's so, really amazing. shout out to Motown Museum. Shout out to Motown right. Museum. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. That's our favorite story. That's right. Yeah. Band, band tells That's it in awesome like, like one minute, though. So, I, I like I, extend I say it in like five seconds. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, you need to extend the story. Right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> you guys are silly. All right. <laughs> um, I want to hear more about your books, guys. Uh, Ben, let's start with your book, Diary of 
a daughter in diaspora? Yes. So this is my poetry book, my first uh, book. self-published yeah. book of all my original poems. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. Um, What's the title mean? <laughs> so um, the title, um, Diary of a Daughter in Diaspora, basically refers to my experiences like being in diaspora. So I'm, I'm a daughter of Algerian immigrants. Um, and so this whole essence of like who I am in America and finding like my identity um, and not just like my racial or ethnic identity or religious identity, but also just like me just as a human being in this country, you know, experiencing love and heartbreak, um, you know, talking about mental health and um, accepting who I am. Um, and even like just talking about my experiences of like teaching in Detroit um, and those struggles, but also, you know, how great it's been as well. So it's a really big mix of just like who I am, but that's also done intentionally. And I also intentionally don't have like themes or chapters or there's no order because I also wanted to like uh, show how complex like my life is right. and, and what my experiences are and, and how all these things are simultaneously happening at the same time all the time. Um, and so also like the cover was very intentional yeah, nice. in terms of, you know, having oh shout out to my artist, um, yes. Marlo Broughton. Check yeah. him out. Wait, also a muralist in the city, uh, painter as well. And um, the whole point of this was to be able to really show um, like a woman in a head wrap, but also like showing the dichotomy of like being American, but also being Algerian and Muslim right. and Arab and all these, you know, overlapping identities at the same time, especially like, growing up. I never got to see um, like women who looked like me, you know, as authors um, or who were really exposed to. Like I just didn't even know they existed until, mm. you know, more recently I've been doing more research. But just growing up, we weren't exposed to that in schools, as we all know right. how that is. Yep. Um, and so I really want to be able to like provide that opportunity to, you know, be a role model to, to young uh, Arab and Muslim girls. And, and luckily I have been able to, to, you know, do that for some of them. And so it's great to like, you know, hear them come up to me and, and tell me like how, you know, inspiring it is. So, yeah, you can find it on Amazon. Hey. Yes. Y'all so, y'all so yeah. hype, man. <laughs> well, <you're> right, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we went to Vice Team pool party. Hey, <laughs> oh, man, like, man. Shout out to Vice Team. That's funny. I'm feeling my soul right now. Right? Yes. Yes. Need to do more in my life. Hey, we love to have fun too. Oh, hey. You know, yeah. it's a balance. Yeah. Write that some too. shit down. It's yeah, a balance, I'm you know? like, man. All you do is text. Right. All I do is text, my baby. Sliding in DMs. I can be. Yeah. 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 I'm, a, I'm an author. Yeah. Yeah. Be reading it like it. Damn, right. that was some deep that shit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That that I should have let that off for free, though. <laughs> No, but for real, like, some, that's actually something I always tell people all the time. Like, you are your own biggest, like, obstacle and challenge to doing that's what good. you want to do. Like, my whole life, I was always mm -hmm. like, when I'm 40, I'm going to write a book, mm. you know. But um, Damn, you did it until I sat down and, low-key, I was heartbroken. So I was Aww. just locked up in the house. So <laughs> that really is what got me like, you know what, I'm going to just sit and do this and yeah. get this done because there's nothing else holding me back. Um so that's yeah. usually where the level up come from, don't it? Yeah. Level, level up. Break. That's yeah. usually where the level up come from. <laughs> and the Drake the album. You know? And the Drake album. Straight up. <laughs> Drake go. Straight up. <laughs> Dr. Jason in the building. <laughs> <man. laughs> like, diagnosing her. Dr. Jason. Not, not necessarily. You. No, I feel it though. You, you know, know what I mean? I you know, like that's definitely part of it too. Is just actually half the poem was I was I was writing during that moment too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know, you're experiencing a lot during a time when you're losing someone who's right. very close to you. Yeah. You know, that's like it's a lot of trauma when you lose um, a person that's close to you and you see them all the time, you know, yeah. whether it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, a friend, friend a, yeah. Yeah. a parent, anybody, yeah. you know, that's that's a loss of a person in your life. And we don't talk about like that type of trauma and how yeah. real that actually is. Um, and so, yeah, that definitely, you know, pushed me to go out there. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna be a little vulnerable right now, but I feel you. Please uh, be. I was in a seven year relationship. Wow. And I had ended like a year year and a half ago yeah so i know exactly what you mean mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's a lot of uh, emotions but then right. you definitely got to pull yourself up and become a better mm -hmm. person at the end. Yeah. level up yeah. level yeah. up get us by angelo on Yo, dog <laughs> vulnerability okay <laughs> i honor vulnerability no, i honor uh, toxic that. masculinity over here okay <laughs> as long as you don't cry we good bro. listen it's but okay. i was, I was, I was just about to say that real thugs cry i was just about to say thugs cry thugs tears okay 
Mm-hmm. I was literally just about to plug somebody else's book. His name is Jason Wilson, but he's out of Detroit, and he Whoa. has a book called Cry Like a Man. Hey. Mm-hmm. And it literally is all about, like, yo, it's okay to cry, and, like, why are right. we suppressing so much stuff, and we don't know why we can't be good fathers, why we can't be good friends, yeah. or good brothers. Like, just, just cry. It's yeah. cool. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yo, but you know it's real when Ian Van Zant start using his book as a tool. I'm yeah. like... <laughs> I'm like, some, some yeah. thugs need to oh, let us some tears yeah. today. Yeah. Okay, yeah. level yeah. yourself that's up that's with the life. tears. I'll be crying in like, <laughs> movies, like sad movies. Uh, I was going to ask you when the last time you let out a good cry, man. That. I don't know when I had a good cry. I can't say What's when. What's a good cry? <laughs> I for sure. Oh, no. I, Body shaking. Cry, that nasty cry. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, you need that. That shudder. That. Yeah. Body <laughs> Let me fall asleep. When you tired after, you just go to bed. Tired, bro. Tired, <laughs> tired, bro. <I'm> dehydrated. <laughs> I think the last time I had that like even cry, it's like, Mama said, Mama, Mama. Please <laughs> <laughs> get your ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, talk about your book. Oh, right. Um, yeah, all got yes, books, man. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm still writing mine. My soul is <laughs> I'm <She's> still <laughs> writing. So um, my book will be titled Letters to You. Hey. Um, it has Ooh. a few meanings. Um where do I want to start? So most of my poems that I write are in second person. So I'm writing to someone, right? So mm-hmm. it might be, you know, they could be my mom, my family, my friends, little whoever, you know, it could be whatever. And so um, I realized that pattern in my poem because, um, like I said, I wanted to be an archive. It's like I'm writing these notes to people, right, right. for them to read later. Mm-hmm. Um, and at the time, I actually was writing letters to people and, like in hopes that they would mm-hmm. read it later in life. I was like in like ninth grade or something like that, and they would never read them, but still. And so, um, so that's kind of where I got the title from. And then there's also, I have a tattoo on my back. It's the letter U. Mm. Um, and it's from the Kendrick Lamar song, U. Are mm. you all familiar? Okay. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And so, you know, on the song, <clears throat> he's talking about just, you know, beating himself up, feeling down on himself, just... You know, he's his worst, you know, enemy, right. right? And he was just at his lowest point, all the things he did wrong. And there was a time where I felt like that, like, I'm beating myself up. I'm, like, the worst person ever to exist. And right. then um, my friend at the time was like, well, that's why All Right comes after you on the album, because you're going to be all right. Mm. And after, like, my wow. perspective shifted, literally, like, I won tickets to a Common concert. The sun okay. came out the same day I had to go to work. <laughs> the sun came but, out. Like, it did. This, it was raining. The sun came out. I won tickets to a Common concert. And then somebody took my shift at work so I could go to right. the concert. Hey. So I was like, hmm, okay, so I'm going to be all right. But that you is like, I never wanted a tattoo, but I got a tattoo because that you is like me with myself. That's the lowest I can be. That's the most centered I can be. And so if I ever feel like I'm at that very low place, I can always pick myself back right. up. up. And so um, my t- I'm not going to give away my cover yet, but, you know... It's basically, a nice cover. It, it is. is. But, you know, basically... Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't ha- I have... I, the I thought something was coming. Was like. Huh? See, this is why I don't like calling in. No, you I saw it at your <laughs> pool party. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I showed you. It was right? that uh, poster I that she had. I showed you. At okay, your pool party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not She's like, like, it's like, not in or anything. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, I'm really not that. Right? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> no, you're, you're hip, Candice. But, um, right? <laughs> <laughs> but basically, that's where the letters of letters to you title comes from. Um, and then, you know, most of all, like me talking to myself, right? Because that's what that song was. Mm-hmm. So it's just me staying in tune with myself. So I, I really love my little title. Still working on the structure and, you know, all of that. You know, they are in print or on pre order. I'm still working on it. I'm the baby of the group. But, uh, but we're all like in a process and I yeah. think that's so it's dope right? yeah. and it's, everybody's yeah. and it's, inspiring yeah, and the good thing is like seeing that. them do it first and like being able to ask them questions and go to them yeah. for advice and go mm-hmm. to them for support it's like the most phenomenal thing because I probably would put it off if I didn't see Bayon, if mm-hmm. I didn't see me, uh, Mikaela, if I didn't see Candace do it first. Like they really inspired me to be like a better artist. And a that kind of allows you to take yeah. your time with it yeah. and yeah. kind of perfect it a little bit more too because your homies already yeah. did it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's funny because in the same way we were, we're also a part of another poetry collective called The Guild. Mm. Um, that's mm-hmm. uh, mixed gender though, but um, in the same way, like I was inspired because we had members there that had poetry books published yeah, yeah. It was a, it's like it was like a mm-hmm. pattern you know yeah it, it was like an avalanche like yeah. the first one <laughs> i'm gonna shout him out his name is darius, darius, oh, darius. shout out to darius he dropped the book but like didn't tell nobody nothing Love like you. literally it was like, like the next day he album. had something yeah. in his really yes. yeah. check him out available on amazon oh yeah mm-hmm. what's his name darius and Simpson? honestly we, conversion not only theory is like we're so blessed to be able to be in these two collectives but it's like on another level because i really like, I'm not even trying to brag, and I would not just say this, but I really think that 
these poets are like the best some of the best in the nation like i mean yeah. these people are talented like if you really look at if, if any if anybody's interested in goes and checks out darius's poetry or justin or will or any any of us like i really do think that we are born gifted poets like i know mm. that sounds really egotistical but seriously <laughs> it's because i've been able to soak up all of this like radiance and just god gifted stuff from everyone <laughs> amazing right. and i've been in the poetry community for a long time so it's not like you come across poets like that all the time you know it's really an amazing thing yeah hey can you do a uh, like a poetry album Yo, yeah. okay. actually, we've talked are you about at, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, what? you can. <laughs> oh yeah, you can. Royal House. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, Royal House do a poetry Royal Royal album. album. Yeah. Mike you Phelps. Mike, I feel like one of our homies has been telling us about the poetry wave Mike. in Detroit yeah. for so long. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, you know Everybody Mike. know Mike. He's been telling us about <laughs> it for so long, and you know. Yeah, it's like, it's like, Mike great. is so cool. He is so so he has kind. He's about to drop an album. Yeah. Oh, so that's it's why I need be to fire. be on. Okay, but so double back nice real quick. Move. He uh he has his own book out too. I yeah. think you can get it on Amazon as yes, well. Sir. Status Come quo. Through. Yeah. 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 I love it when like artists are just mutual fans of each other. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's why I think we all have like we will mm-hmm. hype each other up in yeah. a second. I'm loving the city right now. It's bro. amazing. Like, man. It's crazy mm-hmm. meeting like artists, and it's like, man, I didn't know about such you, a but big now art I do. Yeah. And yeah. what I love about it too is like, I'm this because I said I am. You know what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. you, I, I, exactly. I, I'm gonna do this now because right. I want to. Exactly. You know yeah. I mean? That's kind of what we happen. talked about. Our yeah. city's becoming more unapologetic. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't need your cosign. Not at all. Yeah. Claim it. I'm gonna go. Name it and claim it, boo. I'm a DJ now. I'm a podcaster. But now, now, sometimes, sometimes, it always work out. Sometimes, no. Put your DJ now. He's got the lock plug in his iPhone. Gotta have like a call come through and it just right. stopped the whole club. <laughs> right. like, okay, we actually now. seen that. You <laughs> see that before? Wow. I don't want to say the name of the bar. Don't so. say the name. Don't, that's yeah, right. don't, don't do that. That's yeah, funny. That's crazy. Uh, Candace, you got some big news you want to share? Did you uh, have a baby recently? <laughs> no, I did not have oh. a baby. I had a baby two years ago. Was it two years ago? And fake news. Fake I'm news. pregnant fake. currently, yes. Um, uh, I'm six months pregnant, so I will be having another baby. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Hey, hey, hey. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just. We're so uh, excited. That's so funny because I was like, which, which, which news is she gonna share? <laughs> like, is it the baby? Is it the book? <laughs> Our uh, our sister just had a baby as well uh, oh, a few congrats. weeks ago. Wow! Yeah, yeah. Was it your first? It time wasn't being a few weeks ago. It was two weeks ago. That's a few, right? That's two. No, that's, that's I two mean, like a couple. Three. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, oh, really? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, it was on the twenty seventh. It was on the twenty seventh. The twenty seventh. Her birthday is the twenty seventh. Now everybody think they wordsmith. It's a couple, my dude. It's a man. Couple, my G. But no, we just saw her over the weekend for the first time. Uh, my sister wow. lives in Chicago, so we had to. Oh, all your three of us. sister lives in Chicago. They're really? twins. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. So we're just all there for the twins weekend. In here. <laughs> you see what I'm to. saying? Yeah. yeah, all three of us went out to Chicago. Um, we had to check out our niece. You is that your first niece? That's my first niece. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. I just got my first niece last year. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, your sister? Yeah. My oldest sister. Oldest sister. Yeah, my twin sister is in law. Next month. Shout out to you. It's amazing. Congratulations. What's next month? Being an aunt. She says she's about to be for the first time. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Her mm-hmm. bartender brother. Like, <laughs> is all, listen, yeah, can yeah, I yeah, just, yeah. like, go back to that? Because he was not just the bartender. Like, he, when I was like, dang, I'm kind of hungry, he just handed me slices of pizza from nowhere. <laughs> like, like, who's he, cooking? He was the <laughs> gardener. <laughs> like, he mowed the lawn. And he was <laughs> attending <laughs> to <laughs> his pregnant, like, other, I'm just like, listen, this brother is doing it all. Man, I'm many faces. <laughs> okay. Right. That's how I know he going to be a good father. Yeah. He just can do it all. Yeah, get it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we were in uh, Chicago over the weekend um, I got to hold my niece for the first time it was oh, a beautiful wow. thing I never held a baby for the first you time you cried dog I'm a you never held a baby <laughs> before oh, you are, I know no. you cried wow. no. I did I wow, did I did have a little tear you just had that like scared to hold a baby it didn't come down though it didn't come down that's a thug cry wait but it don't come down yeah it didn't come down but this was legit like your first time holding a a baby yeah, a newborn yeah. baby. Yeah. Is it because you're scared to hold babies, or 
I don't know. She said, "Why?" <laughs> I've I never, I've never like been around access. babies like that. When you oh. hold a baby, it's a curse. P- kind of nervous. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I feel like not a lot knowing. of men are like that. Yeah. Babies not babies a lot of guys are uh, I'm like that yeah. too, low key. Yeah, yeah I don't want to hurt. That's like what I felt the whole time. I felt like I didn't want to hurt the baby. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Low key though, like you're gonna be the toughest you ever are, like as a baby, because I mean, there's a lot of unfortunate things that happen. Like you know, you fall over. Yeah, you gotta be resilient. Babies are resilient, <laughs> yo. Yeah. That's what's up. Talking I feel about like babies. you really figure that out by your second child. You're like, okay, well, this is going to be all right. Because if we got through the first one, we can do this. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, That's for sure. Talking about babies, man. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. This- uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> you got to tell. You got to break some news? No, 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 no. There was uh, news about... <laughs> Come on now, man. Oh, I wouldn't do it here. Oh, my God. <laughs> dumb as hell, dog. Um, <laughs> These transitions are hilarious. Uh, right. Um, Speaking of babies. There was... Uh, somebody was telling me about a... A guy dropped, a grandfather dropped his baby <gasps> over the a I Caribbean saw that. cruise or some yeah. shit On like purpose? that. No, no, no. It was an accident. It was an accident. Baby. It was like a, but that's what I feel. Like you know what I mean? That's what I feel. <gasps> Yeah. He probably he probably was just old and didn't know how my to hold the baby. First time holding this so, baby, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Exactly. Oh my god. Dropped it off so the boat. Dropped it off the boat. You're saying that like apparently you want to. Yo, please, you go for please. it. Mm. Me? Go ahead. All right. so, so the grandpa apparently like the story was at first that he dropped the baby off the cruise ship and it fell into the water. I thought it was like oh shit that's crazy as fuck. Mm-hmm. But what happened was. Um, it was in some kid play area, mm-hmm. apparently, and there was glass windows, you know, all mm-hmm. over the place. But there was one area that there was not glass. Am I right? No, one of the windows <laughs> was open. One of the windows But was it open. shouldn't have been open, obviously. Right. right. It's a kid's area. Michael and Jackson, so, like, though. I think he said that the uh, kid's older brother was a hockey player, and that they used to banging on the glass. What? So they. this was the lawyer. You know how, like, saying. kids love to, like, play on glass windows mm-hmm. and look okay. outside? So my mama always told me The baby came right. to the Michael window Jackson. off of it. Oh, Hanging my God. God. They went and... Just but that I feel like why isn't um, if it's a play area for kids and you know it's exactly. designated and that's, that's what the controversy is that's what the lawyer's saying that too. shouldn't be right. at the yeah. edge of a exactly. ship like make that stuff central right it's like, like ooh, architecture wise is he facing charges at all or? well it's under investigation was right the baby okay or like no, what no, happened no. What? what no, no what happened? unfortunately not the baby, <laughs> baby died the baby died oh, yeah. oh my god okay. yeah, that's really sad yeah, that's I want 500 million it's an unfortunate situation though yeah it's crazy it is you guys ever been on a cruise? No. No. Maybe. I'm not yeah. going on no I cruise. I have. Yeah. And it's cool. Is it? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to say something more deep than that. But. Cool. It was cool. It was cool. <laughs> yeah, that was My nice. husband went on one and he said it's definitely not for kids. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, he said that it was really great, but it's really not a place for kids. Freak me. Why did he really, feel that way? You know? Oh. Um, I think just because of all, it's so crowded and all the people are drinking and partying okay. a lot. Yeah, and I can see that. Like, you know, and it's really just, you know, he said it just wasn't cohesive for kids. Like, right. I mean, uh, conducive to the environment yeah. for kids. Cohesive. Unless you do like a Disney cruise, because they do have like yeah. some set aside yeah, like those, family yeah. cruises. Exactly. Dude, I saw a cruise over the, on uh, YouTube, The Baby, he performed on a cruise. I was like, that's hype. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's <funny. laughs> I was like, that's like, nice. Oh, no, man. Yes. Some people don't know what the hell's going man. on. <laughs> it was like younger people, performing. though. Yeah, it was like younger people. Yeah, yeah, what was the baby doing? He was performing. <laughs> they hired him to perform on the boat. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Oh, whatever. That's I mean, <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to hear a baby sing like Baby Shark. You know, no. I think that would be. <laughs> I hear that all day. You can find anything you want to hear that song. <laughs> no more baby I shark. I think they're having a live performance of Baby Shark in Detroit. What? what? Oh, wait. I don't. What? I saw it on Facebook, y'all. I don't know. Is this a whole concert? I think it is. We actually, just gonna like say that yeah, baby for shark an hour. Tour. Yeah, don't quote me on it, but I think so. Did you say a tour? I, look, I, I just saw <laughs> an ad. Make some money. <laughs> I saw an ad on Facebook. They're gonna make some money. Come to the box today. That's the kind of stuff that makes you really feel like confident. Like, yo, if Baby if Shark Barbie can make it, <laughs> like, I can make it. Platinum. No, I can't. Baby Shark went platinum. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Literally. All right. So we have about 20 minutes left. So I want to okay. see what you ladies want to talk about. All right. We got uh, Tiny Jag and the Afro Future Fest. Yes. 
Or oh, we have. I want to talk about that. Yeah. Hey, hey, right? Or. Haley, ba- <laughs> Haley Bailey as Little Mermaid. I want yes. Or On yes. the Lodge with it. You want to finish off oh with Oh my those? God. Yeah, that was super sure. Wait, did you? Wait, was On the Lodge yes. with it? Because yes. we actually we had a, a. We had a whole conversation today yeah. about yeah. it. So we may have I to. Said, do y'all that. see the, right. uh, the music video for it? It just dropped I yesterday. That, but I, I saw the uh, thumbnail. I need yeah, the t shirt. I need Wayne's, the t-shirt. Wayne's the main one responsible out here for these dudes. <laughs> yeah. Y'all yeah, be slanging the hell out of those cats. <laughs> and cats. I know some of y'all had y'all curls out there. Shout out to y'all. And uh, Mimi's sorority sister has a t shirt. Yes. Really? That says yeah. on the lines with yeah. it. Is on it the t shirt versus everybody? No, 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 no. It's, it's on the lines with it. Like oh. a t shirt that literally says that. And then on the back, it's like a speed limit 55. And then we all had a conversation about like, is the speed limit real? So, <laughs> right, we had a whole lot of debate about this. If you do 55, this. you're probably have, good. Look, all right, okay. I just did 55 the other day. It was very difficult. People <laughs> went around me. And we're talking about people. I'm like, get the hell out of oh, my way. Oh, you know, the, yes. co- no, the cops be sitting, was, man. I ain't got time. You boom. know what I'm saying? And so Mimi's like, no, the speed limit is definitely like 70. 70. I'm like, ma'am, I don't know where you're driving. Know. <laughs> but it's definitely 55. It says 55. And so she was like, when I get on the lodge, I'm going to take a picture of where I be on the lodge at and where it's 70. Nah, I'm like, I promise you, I'll take a picture of where I be on the lodge and it's 55. And this and is in we the group chat. Group chat. So we're yes. in the group chat. All day today. So we're like basically always talking like every day, even if we're not together we're yeah. texting each other something and so we sent in the group chat we both sent like pictures and hers at 55 and yeah, mine said 70 and we were both right, <laughs> right. so we what? just come so i live at the very you know how downtown is the very north end. Western okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i live on the very that's opposite 70. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's so 70. when yeah, you that's come 70. in it says it says three different ones it's like speed limit 70 for a car if you're a big truck it's 65 and the minimum speed limit is 55 uh, so if you actually go a little under that you like like I've seen people get pulled over for going like fifty yeah, you can get for going too over slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like I, I think, think that it's a conspiracy theory <laughs> for a speed trap so that you don't really know where the fifty five started. Well, I know Around where it was. seven mile is uh, where it started. Yeah. Being 50 50 yeah. Before it to be so it was like seventy all the way up and I'd be going mm-hmm. I, I don't wanna incriminate myself. <laughs> 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 hey, no, that's funny you say that because actually uh I got a quote from uh, the police chief has said, we're asking the people that are breaking the law to please continue to post yourselves on social media. That's going to help us a great deal to find out who you are, which we're doing now. So please continue to pay, post your face on they social watch. media, watch. post your license plate, oh, post all the illegal that. activity mm-hmm. that you're continuing to do. Dang. So already one person was arrested and six oh. cars are ID'd. Hey, well, shout out to all my I customers out there. Her friends were mad, too, that she posted that video. Yeah, yeah. Put a lot of people shout in out to all, trouble. Shout out to hey, all the, the so tire dangerous. screechers on the lodge. When you drive in one of the only lime Keep green SRTs cars. in the city, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not going to be too hard to find you. Know? Keep buying yeah. cars. Yeah. Don't let the Detroit system hold y'all back <laughs> from <laughs> spinning on the freeway. Listen, <laughs> Yo, don't. let's talk Please about this Afro future. Yes, we, gotta get, we gotta get into that. As long as y'all ain't hurt nobody, y'all good. Y'all ain't shooting nobody. Right. Like they was hurting up traffic. Somebody hurt somebody to get to where they need to go. Yeah. It was like hit. 3 a.m. They, they said the cops didn't even chase because they didn't want to cause more people to get injured by that. Well, they oh. held a lot of people up. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry to switch gears so, so fast, guys. But let's get into this Tiny Jack and Afro Future Fest 2019. I actually got in quite a heated debate about this with someone yesterday. So, I want to know what you guys are thinking about this. Uh, so essentially what happened was uh, Tiny Jack pulled out of the Afro Future Fest after learning uh, white people will be charged a different price to attend. But I've been corrected since then Not and learned color. that uh, people of color were actually given a discounted rate. Right. I was told that that makes a difference. Yeah. I don't know how. But uh, the Afro Future Fest has since changed its price uh, to equal due to pressure and even oh, death really? threats. Yeah. When did this happen? Uh, yesterday yeah. or so. Oh, okay. Because yeah. their page still says... Uh, Otherwise, I think it's mm. a they donation like, or something like that. Oh, okay. Like they're a suggested donation for non people of color, mm. but they did change the flat fee to 20 mm. bucks, I think. Mm. So, I would like to comment on this subject please, actually go because ahead. I have a lot of um, like colleagues or people in the community that I know who have been a part of this, and um, I've just been seeing it all in my feed. And people have been talking to me about it, and I'm talking to people about it, and I wanted to say mm-hmm. that. At the bottom line, because I know we don't have a lot of time, that regardless of whether people agree with them changing the cost for a white person and a black person, like with the admission, regardless if you agree with that tactic to achieve equity, which is what their original purpose in doing that was, um, you should not be threatening the the kids Mm -hmm. and the people organizing the event. Mm -hmm. And that is what 
my stance is because although I don't necessarily agree with the way they decided they to worded it, it to was treat worded. the equity situation, yeah. like I think it could have been done a little bit differently. I think there were other strategies that could have been used, but I agree with their reasoning for why they did it. But I think the death threats and stuff, that is just yeah, way too far. Extra, I think it's absolutely. sad that youth are being put in that position. <laughs> like they're trying to use their right to do what they think is best, and it's not okay to mm. threaten somebody like that. 100%. <laughs> yeah. So are they trying to Especially say... Especially under white supremacy. Like, it's been very, like, obvious white supremacy threats. Like, that is... And that's wild. It's that's in the ridiculous. city. That's what's wild mm-hmm. to me, that it's in the L.A. Times and it's wow. in, it's on Yahoo News. Like, it's crazy. Yahoo News? Do people yeah. do that? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I know Yahoo. That's where <laughs> right. I get my news from. So I go to terrible. Yahoo. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm terrible. It was on Yahoo, Yahoo News today. I don't that's know. I mean, I fully, like, support what these youth are doing because I think they're... You know, they're the change makers. It's always the young generation that's going to step up and be that voice that needs to be heard to, to make things happen, right? Like, we've always seen that with each generation. Um, and it's just, like, being able to understand that, like, this is, like, generational a class issue. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And, and that's why mm-hmm. it makes sense for them to give that discount to people of color because they explain how... It's yeah. unfortunately it's a privilege to be able to go out and to go, go to these concerts and different events because we can't afford it um, most of the time compared mm-hmm. to you know most white folks. So and so now the language then has changed. Yeah, this is a question. Language. So it's not yeah. we're charging white people more. We're charging people of color discount. Yeah. Discount. Yes. yes. I, and I like that honestly. More. I think mm-hmm. the language yeah, does. Like language. That's why I said yeah. the word. Yeah. The word. That matters. makes it sound more that equitable. Is true. You know. That changes everything. Like people and may it think it's just semantics, it's but Afro Future Fest. Like, exactly, like, that's the what future. Is mostly black people there. Uh, that's and what it's I was always thinking. Always a bunch of white people at every art, black artist concert. And think it's about because they can yeah. afford it, and that's not fair. Mm. Think, think about movement now. It's gotten so freaking expensive, yeah. and it's mostly all white people yeah, like that's now. True. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's what Phelps was saying. He's like, essentially, they priced us out of events like that. Yeah, right. For real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, Even that's how stuff that happens. Even events that are dedicated to black culture and black people. Like, mm-hmm. that's crazy. Bro. Right. Yeah. Would it make more sense to make an event that's just affordable for everyone or to charge white people But they more? still need to make their money. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And I think well, they my also want to make... They should have just gave a discount to the Detroit residents because yeah. Detroit is mostly black. They should have gave that's a discount a to certain zip codes. One. Like, if you know all the white people live in this zip code, don't, you know, right. give a discount to the marginalized zip codes that are low income. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I'm wondering that they but they were a also statement. making a statement, yeah, about all the rich white people coming into the Detroit residency yeah. now. You know what I mean? Yeah, but at the same time. Yeah, but you... they're not living in the hood, though. These, right. w- these rich white people are right. not living in the hood. Like, I was just living in the hood in Southwest right. Detroit, and there is no white people over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, but then if they did it by zip mid, code. They're going to Midtown. They're going to Downtown. They're not going right. to the hood. So so what are they going to ask them? What street, what street do you live on? Where you from? I like that. I like that city. But what is? But that it would still be the same zip code then. Let me see how you do that. Because the zip codes are pretty clear. Like if you live in four eight two zero nine, that's different than you live in. Just do Wayne County. You know four eight. Just do Wayne County. Discount a discount for Wayne County residents. Yeah, Wayne County residents. I mean, that's see, I'd be sad because I'm in Oakland County, so I'd be like, <laughs> but I'm still a person of color. <laughs> yeah, that's true, <laughs> too. Could I still but slip I'm and slide my way through? <laughs> but I, I, I'm just happy to see the youth taking a stance Absolutely. and doing something. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm proud of yeah. them for, for doing it their way because they have a right to do that. And I'm just really happy to see youth organizing in city yes, and doing 100%. what they think is mm, a good solution. Yeah. That's to radical. any problem, you know? And bringing up the, the entire conversation around mm-hmm. equality versus equity. Yes. Because not everyone mm-hmm. has heard it's that. It's a brave exactly. thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You had something to say? I don't want to abruptly change. <laughs> oh, I thought it was on the same <laughs> oh, subject. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> uh, real quick, um, Haley Bailey. Haley Bailey. Shout out to Hallie. 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 Sorry, you're right. Hallie. 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 Yeah. I got it all wrong. Uh, she's an Atlanta native, uh, actress and music artist, and her music group with her sister, Chloe Times Haley. We taking over. Holly. Beyonce plus Y'all know that. Halle Berry been tagged because everybody <laughs> thought it was yeah, her. I looked at the name. And she like, like you said. That name. Everybody <laughs> like, the memes that's not even right because she's she 50. Her, and she like, yeah. y'all, I was in y'all my think bed Beyonce? sleep. <laughs> everybody dragging me into the Halle Berry could be a little more. Y'all think Beyonce plugged her on that? 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know how Beyonce's what? Yeah, that's it. And she's they're part yeah. of Parkwood. No, wait, that's too so different. Sure that... No, I'm just saying Disney. Oh, okay, though, okay. You know okay. I mean? She got yeah. the Disney plug. <laughs> I, I was like, I thought she was putting Lion King and the Little Mermaid, Mermaid in the same movie. <laughs> no, I'm like, no, no we got no, to get no, us no. Disney <laughs> together. <laughs> no, I'm sure they had some conversations, yeah. especially yeah. with them being managed by her, right. you know, her team. Was like it Parkwood. Yeah, I said, yeah, Parkwood. The only way I do Lion King. Cause you mm. my girl look. Hey, <laughs> yeah. up. hey, they yeah. Yeah. That's what we talked about. Yeah. We talked That's about. True. You got to put yeah. the homies on. Even yeah. Chance the rapper, oh, like yeah. he just put something up about how he was not like he was just a huge Lion King fanatic. When his dude got onto Lion King, mm-hmm. he told the director like, "Yo, bring my dude in just as like a just to keep it, you know." Um, I think he was like a culture reference, like to keep it true to the original right. story. Chance and the rapper, then, yeah. Chance the Rapper. He so he's a Beyonce. voice. Uh, for... Was it Childish Gambino? No, no, no. Chance They're the both on it. it. Yeah. yeah. So oh, Chance the Rapper is doing a voice, but he wasn't originally right. going to. Wow. Uh, he just dropped something today on uh, his Instagram. It was like, thank you to my boy because, you know, you just called me to be in the room. And then being in the room, they was like, oh, hop on the mic right quick. Like, mm-hmm. and that's how things happen, right. you know? So, I yeah. mean, mad yeah. love yeah. if yeah. that was yeah. how yeah. she got yeah. it. But simultaneously, she's talented. So I don't yeah. want to, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. add that away talented. either. They like, performed at the Super Bowl, right? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, they definitely have a, a name, both her and her sister Chloe yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah, they're amazing artists um, free ASAP rocking man it's kind of free shit, ASAP man. that's something <laughs> we need to touch um, shit, uh, but, we gotta but, touch but, base on no, all that Lord. but we cannot forget the comments that he made in regards to Ferguson basically saying like Somebody said that, I'm so not yeah. you know I'm not a part of that community mm-hmm. like I'm in my studio in really? Calabasas wow. I don't remember don't quote me but he that. basically was being very dismissive yeah. about mm-hmm. the issues that, that way people not really but yeah, yeah. I mean I'm not still connect the two you know what I mean I'm not saying that you know we should say yeah leave him there because he said made these comments what I am saying is that let's not forget he made those comments you know what I'm saying like hopefully yeah. like this will be an eye opener I think this is and, I was about to say you know, this is like a reality check for him to remember Kelvin like Klein. Too many Klein no matter where you go yeah. you're, you're a black man yeah. Yeah. I want yeah. justice yeah. for happen. everybody of you know? course like please like another, yeah. bring him home but another, hey. another, another thing is they really could have walked away like no, those dudes were following. You see the but video? But still, they though, like, for a okay, you can have somebody Like, they could have done a better yeah. job. They could have done yeah. a better mm-hmm. job. Before, they, yeah, they could have. Yeah. Like, if it was us and yeah. we not, I would have been like, man, let's go to the car. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, De-escalation tactics. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you guys hear about Jeffrey Epstein? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's nasty. Yeah. nasty. That's Trump, nasty. homie, ain't it? Really yeah. terrible. Uh, well, uh, Real Acosta oh, is in the Trump Chris administration. Tucker. He's the one that uh, gave him the low sentence. Uh, he had to register as a sex offender, but avoided a lot of uh, the stricter penalties. Mm-hmm. Uh, this oh my dude, God, like all yeah. the rich white men? Yeah, the rich white dude. But uh, apparently, Bill Clinton took his plane, private plane, 26, 26 times. 26 times. 26, 26, 26 times. So what y'all yo think homies, he was doing? <laughs> yo, homies <laughs> messing with young girls, yeah. you know they messing with yo, young girls. Yo, the whole, I mean, you whole crew. Know. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Donald Trump, Bill Clinton. Exactly. Bro. Chris Tucker was on one of them boys. Too. Was he? It's private a island network. with it. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> yeah, that's a whole network. I like so, Chris. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> PSA, be on the lookout for um, sex trafficking. I know that's a big issue here yeah. in Detroit as well. Yeah. I'll be telling Ooh, females, I'll be trying to, that's really I'll be trying to, you know what I mean, tell females, like, watch out, you know what yeah. I mean? Watch oh, when yeah. you go into the car, watch when it's you go to really stores. Oh, yeah. Don't sit in your car too long, right. you know what I mean? Like, there was one in Southwest. I tell my students all the time. I work with mostly female students, mm. and I tell them all the time, yeah. like, yeah. do not, yeah. do not play around. It is serious. Right. Like, yeah. you will get yeah. snatched up walking mm-hmm. down the street, and it is a real, real thing. <laughs> Dude, I even heard of like uh, people throwing what seems to be eggs or whatever on the on a car, and you do the windshield wiper, but like they have some sort of um, something in them where when you do the windshield wiper and you like use your water, it actually makes the whole thing black. Oh my god! So what? like you feel what? forced to pull over. So they literally like it was in in wow. uh, one of my messages. Like Take. if you feel <laughs> like you have no gotten <laughs> eggs, like do not turn the water on. Like, what? just go to the nearest public place. And I was just yeah, like, dude, wild. I mean, stuff is getting, like, crazy, crazy. Right. That's crazy, man. Ladies, carry a knife, a blade, a fork, uh, <laughs> oh fork. pepper spray. A fork. For real. <laughs> for real, for real. Yeah. Oh. And a lot of times you have to be careful, too, because it's sneaky. Like, I tell my students, mm. you know, they will hit you up on your social media and mm-hmm. catfish yeah. you and pretend to be somebody else. Or yeah. they will even have hey, a young yeah. boy, a young teenage man boy that's their age, Tribe. pretending like, you know, 
he likes them and stuff, and he's actually working for the people, or mm-hmm. he's ca- yeah. he's you know mm-hmm. taken by these people and being used mm-hmm. by them and threatened Crazy. to do these things. Like it happens. Like yeah. young That's teenage crazy. boys will come and and lure these young girls into sex trafficking. Yeah, so they gotta be really careful. They do it in sneaky ways. Do and even in like the industry, one of my girls, her name is Shantae Delon. Um, she was in Detroiters doing really awesome things. Um, she just made a whole series called Booked, and it's all about um, really tying that into how it kind of uh, seeps into the industry, like entertainment. Right. So you think you're going on an audition, and what if mm-hmm. it's not that? That's you know, crazy. I mean, so yeah. literally, you yeah. just. You go, gotta. Go groups. Go, I mean, which sounds crazy because it's like, dang, can I live my life with right. like, can you yeah. come with right. me? Can you? But right. I mean, something, something's gotta give. I see ladies running in the city all the mm-hmm. time, and I'm like, you know, I, I, I want to believe they can be, you know, carefree doing that stuff, but I, I worry when I see that type of shit. Mm. So, you know, be careful, keep your eyes on the, your head on the swivel. Yeah. Um, and don't raise toxic men. And don't raise yeah. toxic yeah. men. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. Um, yeah, I just want to do like a real quick plug if I can. So um, I'm going to be having this uh, teen writing workshop that's called Writing for Freedom. Um, and so this is a free, you know, opportunity for teens across Detroit uh, to come to three writing workshops um, and then to have a final showcase to show their work that they've been working on each Saturday. Um, the first one starts this week and then it's the 20th and the 27th from 12 to 3. It's going to be at Nandi's Knowledge Cafe in Highland Park. Shout out to Mama Nandi, great community leader um, who's always, you know, a big support. Um, And so I also want to shout out my uh, biggest sponsor is the MLK Ski Experience. Um, And then we also have some generous support from Free Life Productions by Mimi and and a few others as well, including Wanderlust Revolution. Um, And so, yeah, if you know any teens, you know, across the city that are interested in writing, poetry, uh, social justice issues. Um, this is a great opportunity to work with um, other teens, to hone their writing crafts, um, and to learn more about social justice you know, through literature. The, the Product yeah. Podcast is definitely yeah. going to be supporting it any yeah. way that we can. Uh, we're going to be splashing this all over our social media, yeah, sure, yeah. Twitter, um, anything like that. So. That. Um, Please, guys, Can I do a support. shameless plug too, or is hey, that not possible? Let's right do a not plug shameless. all around. All around, <laughs> all around plug. All around. <laughs> okay, I just want to say that every third Sunday we're hosting an open mic. Um, we started this uh, group called Bloom Bodies, which is just supporting, creating a space for people in Detroit to just bloom and just be who they are with all the the positive positivity and love that they can get and support. Um, and so every third Sunday, we're hosting that at Motor City Street Dance Academy. Shout out to Motor City Street Dance Academy. Hey. It's a beautiful space. You have to check it out in southwest Detroit on Livernoy um, in Michigan. It's really amazing. Um, so just come there. It's free with suggested donation. We're also having community discussions um, at these open mics. So before the open mic starts, we have a community discussion, and we have free workshops from 5 to 6. So if you go on Blue, if you go follow at Bloom Bodies on Instagram, then you can learn all the details. But it's a really dope. It's probably um, the most unique open mic, I would say, that is in the city. Uh, yeah. Not to not to um, this Nandi because she, the, I look up to her. She's amazing. But this is something different. It's more to get the community talking about trauma and issues that are going on and also follow it up with the open mic and get a lot of new writers on the mic. So it's open mm-hmm. to youth as well. So That's there's awesome. that. <laughs> yeah. Ladies, Another plug. Go for one it, more. Yes, go for it. <laughs> um, so just want to plug my book, Fruit Haiku of Haikus for the Blossoming Soul, um, which is out on pre-order now. So really, you can follow me on Instagram at Mimi Free Life, M-I-M-I-F-R-E-E-L-I-F-E. Um, and that's also my uh, website as well, www.mimifreelife.com, um, which will show me doing workshops with the Motel Museum hey. this month. So lunch and learn. So come on out, eat next Wednesday and the Wednesday after after that um and learn and like we'll just do some poetry workshops and have a really good time so very cool yeah mariah where can they find you uh at mariah underscore the artist m-a-r-i-a-h very cool yeah. candace candida the poet c-a-n-d-i-d-a the poet um and then again that algerian at that a-l-g-e-r-i-a-n and also at wisdom poets mm-hmm. yeah that's who we are <laughs> <laughs> yay jason the wayne, wise women where can they find you guys i'm at that guy wayne b come get them scats you can find me at at underscore jason dot johnson underscore very boring. Nothing on there. <laughs> yeah, we gotta hook you up with a voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> like all that, that deep, mellow, quiet storm. 
And of course, you can follow us at The Product Podcast on Instagram, at The Product Pod 3 on Twitter, uh, The Product Podcast at gmail.com. Please, guys, leave comments, DM us, uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, we love to hear from you guys, get more content for future episodes. Uh, our shooter's in the building, Armand. Hey. Uh, he is at <laughs> Detroit Hi Fi. Uh, we're going to be uploading some pictures from him later on today. But uh, hey, ladies, I really, really appreciate you guys being on. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. Thanks for having us. Having us. Awesome. You guys are amazing. Absolutely. We're inspired. <laughs> yeah, for real. I'm Y'all are really doing right. something special and real. Absolutely. So yeah. we just want to shout you guys out. Thank you know, yeah. we recognize it. And that's why we were Thank so you. excited to connect with you guys. So. Too snap. You. You, know? you guys are good at what you do, by the way. You guys Thank are really you. good. I've been on a few like of these interviews, and people are not this good. So you guys need your stuff. <laughs> you. Yeah, that was very Thank natural. You. Hey, <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks for calling in. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> guys, our time has come to an end. This has been episode four of the Product Podcast. Yeah. Bittersweet. One, two. Yeah. Bye. Ah, that was lit. Hey, cool. Thank you. I got to go to the very much. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to have it.